to Simply Talking. I'm Battelle Arnold. And I'm Lena Nassen Benny. And today on our show, we will be discussing topics that affect your everyday living. And also today, we have Liz Corbett with us here. And she is the author of Do It Yourself Wedding Cakes for Under $50 and the owner of Cakes by Liz. She does wonderful work. Oh. I saw some of the stuff that she brought. Very creative. I can't wait to taste it. That's what I can't wait to. I didn't have breakfast this morning. So. Well, you know, the thing is, she's going to show us how to do it ourselves. Oh, good. Imagine yes. wedding cakes under $50. How many brides out there are thinking, I need that. I need to know. Or the is. mothers of the brides, they have the one, they, the parents have to foot the bill for the poor bride, you know, so. Yeah, one more thing to add on their list. Okay, I know. now we're going to be doing the cake. But hey, if you practice way before the wedding, maybe you could do it. We probably could. Yeah. If you are interested in getting her book, you can always email us at simply talking at inbox.com. Also, her information will be showing up where you can get a copy of her book. Yeah, maybe we should just get that book. And I know, definitely. By the time my daughter gets married, I'll have a lot of time to practice. Uh oh, well, you never know. Welcome back to Simply Talking. I'm Patel Arnold. And I'm Lena Ness and Benny. And we are so happy to have here with us Liz. Hi, ladies. Thanks for having me oh, in your kitchen. Thanks for coming. Oh, I know. We're so excited about all this stuff that you have here. You are the queen of do it yourself. Yes, well, definitely. I've always been a do it yourself kind of girl, and I, I am artistic and creative, but everyone out there is more creative than they think they are. And I want to show a couple of really fun cupcakes that you can do at home with pre made ingredients, candies, cookies, etc. So you can take these gorgeous little guys right here, go to the grocery store, get your ingredients, put them together, and it's a great project to do with kids. I believe in helping kids uh, come into your kitchen with you. It's a really fun family project to do together. Yeah. I know you say that this is not hard to do. It looks hard. It, it looks does hard. look yes. complicated, but it really isn't. So I'm going to show you. I've got okay, all the ingredients out here. And uh, would you like to make the hot dog? That's fine. So we've got a little hot, hot dog, dog sitting on top here. And then I'm going to have you make the hamburger. Mm, but what okay, we're going to start with is some yummy icing. And I'm just going to real quick do, and when you're icing your cupcakes, mm -hmm. you don't want to touch the paper if you can help it. And I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this. You kind of mm -hmm. start kinda in the middle, nice little swirls. Oh, that probably takes practice. It does. You want to give it a okay, whirl? Let's see. Give okay. it a whirl and take All a swirl right, right okay. on top of your cupcake okay, there. That rhymes. And Try then that. I'm just throwing on these little, they're called nonpareils. They're mainly just little colored, like mini sprinkles. And I always do them over a plate because whatever falls on the plate, you can dump back in and reuse. Oh, that way you're not wasting already. them. I know, this is really Those are actually really good. These are really. Am I'm I going to go ahead and one sprinkle cupcake? your cupcake for you. Oh, I think I'm using too much icing. I have a tendency to like a lot of icing on my cupcakes. I actually, yes, we've been known to eat it by the spoonful at my house, but <laughs> that's a whole other story. My daughter would love to make these. Imagine you have a little party, you know, birthday party mm -hmm. for your kids, and that, it would be a great idea to have, you know, maybe the kids that come over, especially yes. the girls, yes. make cupcakes. Yes, cupcakes. absolutely. Yes. It's a cool project to do together. Okay. And this is a great theme for a cookout. Yes. And you know, universe. cupcakes are kind of like the new thing. Cupcakes have been around forever, mm -hmm. but a lot more people are doing cupcakes. And I got completely addicted to a social website called Pinterest. Okay. And I could spend hours on there. And that's actually where I got the ideas for these cupcakes. These are not my own original okay. ideas. Um, but I did find them there, and I thought okay. we had to make them today. I'm done icing. All right. I could, you know, be So maybe throw a little sprinkle okay. on there. Oh, okay. So let me just tell you real quick how we're going to do each one, and I'll start with you since you're right next okay. to me. Okay. We're going to do the hamburger, and the hamburger is simply made out of, these are Nilla wafer cookies that you can find in any grocery mm -hmm. store. And, of course, they look oh. like the little hamburger buns. Yes. Yes. So you're going to need two of those. <laughs> Okay. When you look at candy and cookies, think about what it might what it might be, what you might be able to make okay. out of it. And I'm going to let you just put a little bit of ketchup on there, which is simply red icing in a tube. Right just on here. Right on the bun. Okay. And you want to go a little messy, like have it hanging off the edge, like the ketchup is kind of squirting out. Is it open? No, you're all set. Okay. Do you just have these on your squeeze. website if someone wants to make All of these, these directions here, if you're watching and you're thinking, ah, I don't remember how they did that, you can go uh, to my Facebook page, which is Party Hostess Diva, and I will have photos of these Ooh, and directions on how to said. make everything. Okay. So you're going to pop one of these on, and these are simply just those yummy little peppermint patties covered in chocolate. Mm, I like those. Oh, I can eat a whole I know. Those. So there's your burger. Okay. Oh. 
you can really when when you mm. this, people are coming over and you made these and they're like you made those it's impressive yes, when you put them out very, yes. very very okay. and I always say it's all about display as well so if you're going to make some cuties like this you want to put them on a red plate yes, or a red and white checkered nice. tablecloth yes, that's all good. right how about some mustard I'm, we're kind of doing one at a time here okay. so again you want to go messy around the edge so that we put the hanging off on. a little bit okay nice. and again these are just simply those tubes of icing that you can buy in the store I'm doing a do-it-yourself uh, instruction here and you want to put on a little lettuce. Now, the lettuce is simply just everyday coconut. Mm -hmm. I'm go ahead and put a little sure. bit on there. Oh, okay. And you can tint the coconut with any color you want. So for the green, I did the little liquid drops. Mash it around good with a fork, and you've got lettuce. So again, you want to stick it out around the edges. Oh, should I put a little more? Is that good? However you want it. If you like a lot of lettuce or a little lettuce. Look at that! And give it a little squish. Yeah, now it's going to go up on top of your cupcake. Oh my word! Look at you made it! Wow! Wow! Isn't that impressive? That is. It is. And how easy was that? How easy? It was very Isn't easy. Isn't that cute? We know you got a little, little ketchup, ketchup on your hat. You spilled a little I ketchup, like but that. that's, that's okay. Right. That's okay. okay. All right. So nice, let's do. Nice. Maybe you can even make a hot dog as well while okay, we're going okay. along here. All right. Now the hot dogs that you can see are pretty simple, and these are just those. Kind of weirdish little marshmallowy candies. What are those called? called circus peanuts. Yeah. These are kind of psychedelic orange because they're not a name brand, but um, you can find these anywhere. You have the in the grocery oh, aisle. Oh no, you take it because you're going to show me how All to right, do it. All right, right. And okay. I'm just going to take this little knife. Now, obviously, this is something the adult's going to do if you're working with kids, and you are simply going to. You can have the adults cut it out for the kids. Absolutely, you can yeah. have okay. them pre-done. You're going to make okay. a little V-shaped cut in the top of the bun. And while I'm doing this, if you want to take that little caramel square that you have there, okay, that's the hot dog, and Wait. you want to work it with your fingers and get it warm because it's just oh, big oh, play-doh. Just, just yeah. big play-doh. You're going to roll it out into a little hot dog yeah. shape. Okay. And the Let's fun thing see. is, if you make a mistake, you get to eat it. <laughs> and start all over again. Right, that's a good way to do that. Okay, am I trying to roll it so it can look long? Yes, you're yeah. actually going to go about the width of that, and we'll just okay. cut off some on the end because it's going to be a little too big, and that's the part you get to eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be yeah. doing thirty. We're gonna, we're gonna get you to. I know. It okay, just take a little bit it. of time. Okay, let me see. I'm a, I always have cold hands. She's just working. To let you know. She's working. Oh, I don't usually do that, but this would be my workout. Look at see. And if it's a nice warm day in your kitchen, then it wouldn't take long at all. So okay. So what if you apply a little heat to it? No, that's not um, a good idea. I wouldn't because they oh. melt so quickly. Okay. Usually, just the heat of your hand is what you want to do. Blow dry it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Mine's not even coming. No, mine's is. Look at Oh, yeah. Is that good? Almost. Okay, I got a big, She's nice got a fat hot, hot dog there. She wants to make it skinnier. Maybe it's a kielbasa. Okay. You can do whatever you'd like. Right. Okay. It's just going to resemble. Okay. This is good. How are we doing? Good. What do you right. think about that? Sticky hands. Oh, more than that? Oh okay. One good right. thing about baking for years and years is you get really strong hands and arms. <laughs> I, oh, like is this a good said. exercise? Okay. I, I think it is. Look it. We're starting a fire with the sticks here. Okay. Okay. I can't. So, so then, you want really, okay. Yeah. Because you don't want it too big. And again, you're not going for perfection here. It's the overall effect that you want. Right. Oh. All right. Okay. So we got the nice little hot dog and curve the little ends up like that. You want to put that right Curly. into the bun? Press it right in there. Press it in. And then you've you've got the long oh, bun with hot dogs. You want to do some mustard, <laughs> also mustard. known as yellow frosting. And okay. do that cute little squiggle. Start squiggle. at one end and go to the other end. She's being okay. so delicate with the icing. Oh I know. There she goes. Excellent. Nice. Oh, wow. nice. Now wasn't that easy? That. Very easy. Hey, we're getting good, huh? Okay, very easy. So you want to plop that right on there? They hard to do, but it's so They're easy. They're not. They're not. You just oh, have to buy the right things, things right? We should make these and be like, oh, I slaved all day. Yes, yeah, right. Things. You have to be dramatic about oh. it. Yeah. Right? Now, yes. how easy was that? Let's put Look this out where we can see yours. 
to do my hamburgers and hot dogs for your next picnic or a child's party. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, was that difficult to do? It was not to do. No, absolutely not at all. Very easy. And again, if you forgot the steps, go to her Facebook Mm -hmm. and you'll be able to get the do it yourself step by step. Well, I know when we come back, you're going to show us how to make these, Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Liz. Welcome back to Simply Talking, and here we are with Liz Corbett. Hi. Liz, before we uh, start making these beautiful flowers, mm. why don't you tell us a little bit about your book, Do It Yourself, Wedding Cakes Under $50. Yes, absolutely. And I, I have to give my husband credit right off the bat because mm. he's always thinking. He's got great ideas. Mm. And he believes, and I do too, that everyone has a skill or something that they're really good at or that you have a lot of experience with. And if you are a, a do-it-yourselfer and an entrepreneur mm. like I am, I've always been self employed um, there are things that you know how to do that you can share that information with other people and you can even make a living at it um, so he just kind of threw it at me the other day and said you know you know you've been doing cakes for like 20 25 years you should really put that information out there so that other people can benefit from it and I've always been very frugal I'm really good at saving money so I took my 20 plus years of cake decorating experience with some wedding cakes under my belt as well and put together an ebook to start with uh, and it gives everything you would ever want to know about how to make your own cake. Lots and lots of tips in there. There's video, there's pictures, uh, and you can make yourself a two or three tier wedding cake for under $50. I know there's a lot of brides out there that are kind of going back to the do-it-yourself mode yes. uh, to save yes. that money because right. you know the wedding cakes are just, they're gorgeous, but they're very pricey. Right. So yes. you can do it yourself. So I'm really, really excited. and. Um, they're going to show the website that people can go to to get that, uh, to download that ebook to okay. find out a little bit more. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. And I know they're showing some pictures yeah. of the beautiful wedding cakes that you have made. Yes. I have made, uh, I've done, I added up one time um, about how many cakes I've done in total and I did lose count. I've done about 15 or 20 wedding cakes because they are big and they're very time consuming. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, so I kind of do them for fun and for friends. So if people ask me now, I usually say no, but sometimes <laughs> yeah. they can twist my arm. Um, but I've done, oh gosh, hundreds and hundreds of birthday cakes, cupcakes, even desserts and fancy things like that. I've always liked to to play with food. What is the hardest thing of, of making the wedding cakes? Honestly, the hardest part about making a wedding cake is the construction. It can be very nerve-wracking if you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you're dealing with a, a layer of cake that's, say, 16 inches, mm-hmm. um, you get that thing out of the oven and you have to get it out of the pan and onto a rack mm. without breaking oh, okay. it. And that, you really have to know what to do. And I do share a lot of tips in the in the book on how to do that without having any you know major accidents because if you've got you know dozens of eggs pounds of butter and all these ingredients in it you don't want to fall apart um, so that is actually the hardest part is getting those things together and then stacking them is difficult as well if you don't know what you're doing some wedding cakes can weigh 85 pounds and up when they're fully that's decorated. Impressive. So that's a, that's a medium sized child right there. Yeah. Now, don't you deliver it in layers though? Absolutely. Right. You, Absolutely. You don't deliver it as so the construction product. and yes. the, and that'll be a whole other book on wedding cake okay. delivery. Some okay. of the crazy uh, things I, that I I've probably encountered. Finish it and then boom, yeah. I've delivered it. And I've fall. never, I always carry my own cakes because that way if anything falls, I can't get mad at anyone except right, right. me. You know, okay. if my best friend's carrying it, she may not be my best friend anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> easy these are to do. Um, all you need for the petals are just your everyday oh, marshmallow. oh, regular size marshmallows. marshmallows. Okay. And the center, you're just going to buy yourself a little bag of gumdrops or spice drops oh, in the yeah, grocery store easy. and some iced cupcakes. So if you want to go ahead, each okay. of you grab a little spatula there. This is there. so much easier 
than what I envision making these cupcakes. I know. And that's what, that's are. my mission, to help people understand that uh, if somebody just shows you how, you'd be amazed at the things that you can do. Mm. And cupcakes especially, there's so many things out there that are already made. You know, you don't have to pipe the petals with the icing. I mean, leave that to the pros. You just go out there and buy a bag of marshmallows. Yes. Right. I'm going to show you how to do that in one second. Now, purchasing these ingredients, are they, you know, are they Spencer? pricey oh. or? Well, I mean, how much is a bag of marshmallows? But what about this here, the making the frosting? I make, I, know my, you do it yourself. I make my own icing always, but if you are just looking for simple, simple to go type of a, of a project, uh, you can get the little buckets of icing that everybody knows next to the cake mixes. Mm -hmm. um, cake mixes are inexpensive. Right, uh, definitely. And I you do share in my book a tip on my own version of how to sort of doctor up a cake mix to okay. make it a little more firm, okay. uh, which is what I've done for the cupcakes. Okay. But it's really, and these especially, these are so cheap. I mean, you're talking icing, a 99 cent bag, of gumdrops and a two dollar bag yes. of marshmallows. If you went out to buy a cupcake, I mean they're probably on the bakery. Three exactly. Dollars. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So. so you've got your green base on there, and I'm going to show you one real quick, and then let you go ahead and go to town with okay. it. Okay. The easiest way to get the petals on these is to actually cut them with scissors. And these say kitchen. They don't get used anywhere else because they're at <laughs> home and they're labeled. No one uses okay. them for anything but kitchen. And I've just got a little bit of Crisco or butter on here so that they're greasy and it doesn't get stuck. And you just want to do, if you can, five, two, three, four, wow, five. Oh, look at that. And it makes this beautiful little it does. petal it's shape. Just from tying it. Like a petal. So then you want to dip them into sugar because that cut side is very sticky. Okay. All right. So here we can work like okay. an assembly Let's line. See, I should cut. I? Okay. If you want to dip and go ahead and place them on your. Okay. Okay. And the sugar up like this. I want to see if I do can both cut sides. it like you did. Okay. Can I try? Give it a try. Okay. It's easy. Okay. Cut. And while they're doing petals, the middle of your flower, and you can pick any color. If you want to go for a classic daisy, you can do your marshmallow in a yellow center. We've got orange on this one. Or you can get really wild and crazy and get like these super fun zebra cupcake oh, papers. Oh, those are nice. For kind of a big girl's party. And you could do purple icing uh, with a pink in the center. It's really up to you how you I want to do like that. I I want to do the orange. You know, so when you cut this one in half, it naturally makes that indentation. It does. It makes that shape. And you can even pinch the ends a little bit if you want to. To give it more of a petal shape. Do you put the sugar on both sides? I do because okay. it's really sticky. And the gumdrop, I'm going to get two centers out of one gumdrop. Okay. And we're going to dip that sticky side. Oh, okay. I'm really excited. Now we definitely have to have a party. I know. <laughs> do you want one? Half cupcakes. We'll no, I want purple. Oh, okay. She wants purple. All right. So you want to want purple. Cut it in half. Dip in the sugar. Here, I've got a pre made one for you. Here's your purple one right there. And I will give you a tip if you decide to make these cupcakes right here. Uh, the marshmallows are very sensitive, so to speak, to moisture. So okay. I would not recommend putting the petals on much more than an hour or two before, okay. especially okay. if it's a really warm, humid day. Um, my daughter and I made a bunch of these for a pool party last weekend, and it was a really busy weekend, so oh. I made them the night before. Okay. They still looked okay, but the petals were a little sad and droopy, okay. and they were incredibly sticky. So when people were eating them, they had all kinds of marshmallows stuck all over now, their face. Now, can we put it in the fridge? Or no. You could put them in the fridge. You could do that, and that this would chill beautiful. the icing up. Look how pretty. I like how her I petals like go down yeah, like that. that. Looks good. Oh, that Show is so Show them so they can see your, what you did. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful yeah. and so simple? I like it with the purple. So simple, right? You could even, if you wanted to, uh, do colored sugars on the petals. You know what I'm just thinking? I feel like you could do the marsh, could do something See with a spider. Her brain is already. I already think you could do a spider with the marshmallows. Yeah. Can you with the black and white? And maybe you do could something? do. Oh, honestly, okay. So you could do saying, anything. Like for a boy's boys anything. Like spiders. Right. So the would boys. you say that this is difficult to do? No. No. no absolutely this is not. Fun too. Have you oh. ever done decorative cupcakes before? Then Never. Just swirl frosting. I have, but not. You know, not yet with the sprinkles or. So I actually did decorate a cake once and had the piping around it and Excellent. stuff. Excellent. Yes. See, and I knew her mind was going. She was yeah. already thinking about the spider yeah. cupcakes. <laughs> but look what they made. Super easy. You can do this at home. All the instructions are on the website, the party hostess Diva. I love to show people how to do things, so that's my mission. If I created something that you can do at home, uh, then I've done my job. You did this a great, great job here today. Uh, if you are interested in anything that you've heard today, making wonderful cupcakes, do it yourself. Again, you can always go to her Facebook. Mm -hmm. Party Hostess Diva. Party Hostess Diva. 
or you can email us at simplytalking at inbox.com. But Liz, thank you so much for being yes, here thank today. You. A lot of fun. It was fun. fun. Thank you so I'm much. Eat one of these. We are right definitely now. off camera. Oh, going to have yes. a couple of these. Yes, yes. <laughs> Try them out. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, and from all of us here at Simply Talking, God bless you, and we'll see you next week.